everyone. Uh, today I've decided to replay the one game playoff for the American League East title from 1978. Uh, the Yankees against the Red Sox at Fenway Park. This game was played on October 2nd, 1978. Uh, each team finished with 99 and 63 record. So they had to have a one game playoff to determine who wins the American League East. Uh, this game uh, became known as the Bucky Dent game because of Dent's three run homer off Mike Torres uh, late in that game to send the Yankees uh, to the to the victory in the game and the division crown who, who then went on to defeat the Royals in the playoffs and the Dodgers in the World Series um, so I'm just gonna replay this one game uh, playoff uh, the Yankees will uh, lined up uh, with Mickey Rivers leading off Thurman Munson uh, hit second Lou Pinella third Reggie fourth Greg Nettles fifth Chris Shambliss, sixth, Roy White, seventh, Brian Doyle, eighth. Uh, Willie Randolph was injured at this point in the season, so Doyle was getting the playing time. Uh, and Bucky Dent, ninth. I'm using the jump system. This is the uh, National Pastime 3 uh, computer baseball game based on Skeeter, uh, uh, Bill Staffa's Skeetersoft uh, uh, cards and dice game. Uh, the computer simulation makes things very easy and convenient to... Uh, to play the Skeetersoft MP3 game on your computer without having to hold cards and dice and spread them out and all that. I will get to the Red Sox lineup when uh, they come to bat. Mike Torres pitched this game. Um, he'll start as a C pitcher for the first four innings and then he'll be downgraded. Uh, Mickey Rivers leads off and we get a 33-0. That's a uh, possible extra base hit. And a 22-1. This could be gone. And it is. A leadoff home run for Mickey Rivers. Uh, uh, very first batter of the game is given a quick one to nothing lead for the Yankees. The uh, next hitter is Thurman Munson. And we get a 27. That's a grounder. The, uh, whoops. That was a mistake. Let me get off of here. Um. All right, I'm going to undo that. That was a mistake. Lou Pinella is the next hitter. Pinella uh, flies out to center. Reggie Jackson hits with two outs, and Reggie will uh, make the third out of the inning. The uh, Red Sox come to bat. Rick Burleson uh, leads off. Jerry Remy hits second. League MVP Jim Rice hits third. Carl Yastrzemski fourth. Carlton Fisk, 5th, Freddie Lynn hit 6th, Butch Hobson is a designated hitter today, hitting 7th, George Scott, the Boomer, uh, hits 8th, and Jack Brohammer plays 3rd base today and hits ninth. They'll be facing Brett's, uh, uh, Yankee ace, Ron Guidry. Guidry, uh, best year of his career, fantastic 25-3 and record and 1.74 ERA. Um, these stats up here have been accumulated by me playing a few games from the 1978 season. As you can see in my replay, Guidry has made one start, struck out eight, walked two, uh, only allowed an earned run, and um, got the win in that game. But uh, this is the uh, one-game playoff. Rick Burleson will lead off, and he is going to reach base on an error on the third baseman. He does not get a jump, so he won't be stealing. So Burleson's at first with the E5, the arrow nettles. Next hitter is Jerry Remy. And Remy flies to right for the first out. Jim Rice now the hitter. And that is a six. That's a double. And Burleson uh, moves to third. Uh, the double goes to left. Burleson could not score on the play. So the Red Sox have something going. Second and third. One out here in the first. Yastrzemski will try to get the Red Sox on the board, but he grounds to third. No runners can advance, so there's two out now, and it'll all come down to Carlton Fisk. Uh, the roll on Fisk is a 22-0. That's going to score uh, two runs as Fisk doubles uh, both runners in, and it's 2-1 to one Red Sox here. So the Red Sox come right back off Guidry and, and score two. The next hitter is Freddie Lynn. Lynn will ground, uh, strike out to end the inning. Torres goes back to work here in the second. Uh, he'll face Greg Nettles first. And Nettles, no error on the play, grounds to second. Chris Shambliss, 11's and 0, 14 is a 7. 
So that is a one out single for Shambliss. He does not steal second. The uh, one on one out, Roy White will be the hitter. And that is a 35 40. Uh, fielder's choice. Uh, White's at first, but he is going to get thrown out trying to steal to end the inning. So White reached on a fielder's choice, tried to steal, but Fisk gunned him down. Bottom of the second, Roy White uh, made the last out. Uh, Hobson will lead off for the Red Sox. Flies to right. Uh, George Scott, 44-8, is not good enough against an A to get a hit. Two down, Jack Brohammer, 55-8, same thing. Th uh, top of the third, Red Sox go in order in the second. Brian Doyle will lead off. He flies to right. Bucky Dent will uh, get a Zarb Rule single off of Torres's grade six. Well, one to uh, six uh, gets a single on uh, uh, play results 35 and 12 with the bases empty. And the uh, Dent is on with the single and he won't steal. One on one out for the top of the order again. Mickey Rivers uh, hit a home run his first time up. And he is going to ground out this time. Uh, Dent takes second. So run, tying runs at second. Two out. Thurman Munson. And Thurman will ground out to first unassisted. Bottom of the third. Top of the Red Sox order. Burleson leads off. And he walks. Does not steal. So Burleson's at first for Jerry Remy. We'll swing away. This uh, could be a double play, and it is a 3-6-3, no, excuse me, a 6-4-3 double play. Two, uh, two down now. Jim Rice will hit with the bases empty, and Rice whiffs. Top of the fourth, Pinella, 66-0, 31-6, a leadoff double for Sweet Lou Pinella. So the Yankees have the time run at second with nobody out here in the fourth. Reggie Jackson will swing, and he strikes out. Torres gets him. Greg Nettles, and he strikes out. So Torres with two big strikeouts. Pinella still at second with two down. Shambles will try to drive him in, and he's not going to. He is going to fly to right. So the Yankees uh, waste an opportunity there. As you can see, Guidry's grade has dropped to a B now. Uh, he pitches at an A for three innings and drops to a B. Uh, tremendous strikeout rating of XXX and good control of that Z. Doesn't allow many homers with a G uh, and has a double play minus rating. That's to fine tune the uh, uh, base runners that he allows. All right, the Red Sox will lead off with Yaz. And Yaz flies to center. Fisk doubled in uh, para runs uh, his first time up. But this time he whiffs off of Guidry. Freddie Lynn. And this will be a base hit for Lynn. Two out single. And he will not try to steal. And Butch Hobson will strike out to end the inning. Moving on, top of the fifth. Torres back to work against Roy White leading off. Grounder to third, one out. Brian Doyle will reach on an error on the shortstop Burleson. Doyle does not try to steal. Uh, Torres has dropped to a D. So, uh... He pitches four innings at C, then drops to D thereafter. So Doyle's at first. One out for Bucky Dent. And Dent flies to left. Two down. Mickey Rivers, homer his first time up, strikes out here. So Therese getting the job done. George Scott will lead, uh, lead off the fifth for the Sox. And he grounds to short. One down. Jack Brohammer, 0 for 1, flies to left. Two down. Rick Burleson's 0 for 1, and he strikes out here. All right, sixth inning. So uh, Yankees scored one in the first on Rivers Homer, and the Red Sox had a two-run double by Fisk in the bottom of the first, and nobody's been able to do anything since. So 2-1, to one, Red Sox going to the sixth. The Red Sox will lead off with Thurman Munson, and that's a base hit. So Thurm's on with a leadoff single. And we'll see if the Yankees can get something going here. Lou Pinella hit 314 in 1975. He's got a really good hitting card here. Doesn't uh, walk a whole lot. Uh, hits into a few double plays. But he's got a good hitting card here. 361 on-base percentage, 445 slugging percentage. 
All right, Sweet Lou follows up uh, Munson's single with another single, and the Red Sox are in. Uh, Torres is definitely in some trouble here in the top of the six. Two on, nobody out for Jackson, Nettles, and Shambles. Three straight lefties coming up against Torres. The uh, Yankees, or excuse me, the Red Sox have Bergmeier, a left hander, and Hassler, a left hander, in the bullpen. But uh, I'm not going to take uh, Torres out at this point. He's pitching a fine game. Reggie, two on, nobody out. And that is an infield single. And we have the bases loaded. Nobody out for the Yankees here in the sixth as uh, Torres uh, in, in trouble here. Uh, let's see. Greg Nettles is up. Going to leave the infield back. And 39. A runner out stealing home. Others advance. That is not a good play for the uh, Yankees here. So one out now. Runners at second and third as uh, Nettles uh, got caught off third and it goes as a caught stealing of home. Um, or, uh, let's see. Excuse me. Munson, not Nettles. Nettles is the batter. Um, Nettles still up. Runners at second, third. One out. Here's the roll. And that's a fly to right. And the runners will not be able to hold. So now two outs. Chris Shambliss up. Uh, the Yankees had nobody uh, out and the base is loaded. Now it's two outs, second and third. No one scored. Can Torres get out of it? Here's Shambliss. Grounds to short, and he does. So that steal of home was very hurtful for the Yankees. And a golden opportunity goes by the wayside. Two to one Red Sox, bottom of the sixth. Uh, bases loaded, nobody out for the Yankees. Top of the sixth could not score. Remy will lead off against Gidry, who's only allowed three hits. And Jerry will lead off for, with a reach on an air on the shortstop, uh, Bucky Dent. Rivers uh, will not steal. He doesn't get a jump. Excuse me, Remy. Uh, man at first, one out. Nobody out for Jim Ed Rice. And Rice gets hit by the pitch. Rice got hit by a lot of pitches in his career. And he gets hit by one here. And now Gidry's in trouble here in the sixth. Two on, nobody out for Yastrzemski. Carl will strike out. So that's a big strikeout for Gidry. Gidry has six Ks now in five and a third innings. Carlton Fisk, he strikes out. Number seven for Gidry. Freddie Lynn will be up to him. Can he come through? No, he can't. He pops out to short. And we move to the late innings now. Seventh inning, Red Sox lead two to one. All the runs coming in the first inning. Torres still in the game, pitching to Roy White. And that is a fly out to right. One down. Brian Doyle will ground to short. Two down. Bucky Dent grounds to second out for the third out. And three up, three down for Torres. Uh, Hobson will lead off against Gidry here in the bottom of the seventh. That is a strikeout. Eight strikeouts for Gidry. Scott will fly to right. Two down. Jack Brohammer. He walks and steals second. So Brohammer with a walk and a steal. He's in scoring position for Burleson, who's 0 for 2 of the walk today. And Burleson's going to drive him in. That is a single runner on second scores. And Burleson does not steal. So it's 3-1 to one Red Sox now on the uh, walk by, to Brohammer, the stolen base, and the RBI single by Burleson. Jerry Remy up now, 0-3. for 3, And he will make it 0-4 for 4 as he's night strikeout victim for Guidry. Top of the 8th, Torres. Uh, Going strong here, only giving up one run. Pitching as a D, though. That could fall apart any time. Red Sox have their bullpen going. Rivers leads off with the Zarb rule single, so that's dangerous for the um, Red Sox. I'm going to play it safe here. Uh, Rivers not going to attempt to steal. Uh, the next batter will be Thurm Munson. Thurman Munson. And he walks. Now there's two out, two on, nobody out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take, get Torres out of there. That D is very dangerous. Uh, let's see who we got. We got Bergmeier, a lefty. Um, Pinella, 
coming up uh, is a right hander, then lefty, 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 switch hitter, lefty. So uh, Campbell was a big uh, reliever in 78. The biggest reliever of all was Bob Stanley. Uh, well, let's go ahead and go with the ace of the staff, Bob Stanley. We'll get him in the game. Two on, nobody out for Pinella. Let's see what he can do. Pinella flies to left. That's one down. Here's Reggie. Let's see if Reggie can come through like he did so many times in other October games. And he does a two run triple for Jackson. 33 5 members on first and second is a triple. And we have a tie game. Four, uh, three to three. Nine hits for the Yankees, four for the Red Sox. So the lead run now is at third base with one out. And we're going to bring the infield in. Try to cut off that run. Here's Nettles. And he gets singles through the drawn in infield. And the Yankees with three runs here lead four to three now. So Stanley not able to get the job done. Chris Shambles will be next. He flies to left two down. Roy White flies to center. All right. Guidry. Still uh, doing well, pitching as a B, but he's got Gossage and Lyle in the bullpen if he needs help. Rice will lead off the eighth, bottom of the eighth. Base hit for Rice. Lead off single. He does not steal. Tying run at first. Yastrzemski will be up. Yaz grounds to short, and Rice moves to second. So Rice at second, one out. Carlton Fisk. We'll foul out to the third baseman. That is two down. Freddie Lynn, lefty against lefty. Can he drive him in? No. Lynn bounces back to the mound. Uh, and that ends the inning. We go to the ninth. Four to three Yankees. Stanley's still in the game. Dole ground to second. One down. Bucky Dent. Grounds to short. Two down. And Rivers whiffs. Here we go. Bottom of the ninth. Guidry. Trying to close it out. The Yankees have a good bullpen combination of Goose Gossage, Sparky Lyle. Dick Tidrow is also available, he, he, although he didn't. He started 31 times, only relieved six times in the season. Ken Clay probably won't get any go this game. So it's Lyle or Gossage, but Gidry's going to try to finish it off. Butch Hobson will lead off, and he reaches on an air. On the second baseman Doyle so the tying run is at first here in the bottom of the ninth George Scott who hardly ever bunted uh, really needs to get that runner up but he's got so many strikeouts let's see we'll let him hit away struck him out so that's one down as you can see Guidry's pitching as a C now uh, Brohammer's the batter but he's gonna be pinch hit for not gonna let Brohammer hit Evans is going to pinch hit here. Evans, uh, that five there would be a walk-off homer. Uh, that one with two if it gets past Gidry's G. So Evans is the batter. And Bob Lemon will make a change here. He'll go with his ace, Goose Gossage. So we have Gossage against Evans here. Righty against righty. Gossage will try to save this game as he did in the real game in 1978. Here's the pitch to Evans, and he struck him out. Two down. Red Sox down to their last out. Rick Burleson will ground to second, and that ends it. The Yankees win 4-3, to three, and I can't uh, remember what the real final score was in 1978. It might have been 5-3, to three, but very close, similar game to uh, the, the uh, real-life game. Uh, the uh, real-life game... Uh, Dent hit the three-run homer in this game. Uh, Jackson's two-run triple in the eighth was the key blow to tie it up. And then uh, he went on to score for the 4-3 win. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that's all for this time, and we'll see you again soon.